Hello everyone, welcome to Prestige Castle Farm. It's innocent. You are welcome. So today we'll be discussing the difference between the pure breed, the hybrid, the crossbreed, the mixed breed, and the local breed. And uh, this is very important because um, some new farmers, uh, some some have received some questions. Um, with regard to, to this, but some people will say, Oh, I need um, a pure breed, or some will say, Okay, I need a hybrid. Um, and so, what is the difference? What is the difference? Um, I'm not sure in Nigeria if we have a actually Nigerian contest if we have a lot of you know, if we have a, a pure breed in this part of the world. Um, and the reason why I said I'm not sure is because I do not know all the farmers in Nigeria. So there's a possibility that there may be one or two farmers that may have a pure breed, um, uh, even a hybrid. Uh, but I think, uh, and I'm open to being corrected, I think uh, most of the breed we have in Nigeria have crossbreed or misbreed. Um, we, I do not think that we have a pure breed or even a hybrid. Though so sometimes we do tell you that ah, well, we have an hybrid. Uh, what we have is hybrid. Um, the word hybrid, when we use hybrid, especially in Nigerian context, uh, is usually used in marketing purposes. So if you contact a rabbit farmer, there is high chances that that rabbit farmer will tell you that what they have is hybrid. Um, but then, uh, what and this is the essence of this video is to truly explain what a pure breed rabbit is and what is a hybrid. Okay, so what is a breed? A breed is either made intentionally by a rabbit farmer or something that comes up as a result of you know the environment okay now so there, there is an intention in creating that particular uh, rabbit you know for example the new zealand white i think was created around 1920 if i'm not mistaken and there was an intention there was the, there was an intention with regard to creating this particular rabbit and so it needs to meet certain characteristics, right? It, so, so, so the intention is probably the intention is okay. We want a rabbit that could grow at this short period of time that has these features that have these particular characteristics, and this has to pass through an association. And once it passes through that association, and then this association satisfies this particular rabbit as a breed. It therefore means that. Whatever uh, progeny, whatever child that comes out from this particular rabbit must also possess this particular characteristics or features. Therefore, that becomes a breed. Okay? Um, a pure breed, therefore, is a particular breed of rabbit that can be traced down to three or four we could, we could trace the generation of that rabbit to you know you could link that generation to the to the rabbit that have been created that particular feature that particular rabbit that was created as at that time when it received that certification so when we look at the breed of that rabbit when we look at that rabbit we can say okay this rabbit contains have these particular features have these particular characteristics we can trace this generation although i think the hub i said uh, about three to five generation they could trace it to three to five generation and that the fishes the fishes when you look at the fishes of this particular rabbit it's the same fishes as the first fish of the first rabbit that was created in that particular breed of rabbit so if you take the first rabbit that was created in that particular breed of rabbit and this rabbit that you are looking at at the moment, they both have the same characteristics. That is a pure, pure breed. Uh, so, so do we really, really have 
that in Nigeria? I don't think so. I think maybe if, if we're going to have that, maybe very few farmers have that rabbit. And um, so, in a nutshell, a pure breed is a pedigree rabbit that we can trace the history to at least three to five generations and that has the same characteristics as the as uh, that particular breed of rabbit should have as certified by an association such as ABBA or whatever or other association but but the in Nigeria from my observation um, I do not think we have pure breed maybe I'm open to correction I think the the maybe the farms that have pure breed in Nigeria uh, may be very very few so but I know in Ghana I know in Ghana um, there are farms that have uh, pure breed rabbit I know of Ace Farm I know of Ace Farm has pure breed because Ace Farm from the knowledge from the information I got Ace Farm itself got its pure breed from South Africa most of his most of his rabbit the pure breed comes from South Africa and to, to and honestly <laughs> getting those rabbit are not cheap getting those rabbit importing those rabbit those pure breed rabbit um, from you know reputable farms in in for example in america or in france or in south africa these rabbits are quite quite expensive this pure breed are quite expensive so uh so this brings us to the next thing about hybrid so what is hybrid i think the the hybrid has been very very misunderstood the definition of hybrid a lot of i've seen a lot of farmers got it wrong so the, a lot of farmers understanding of hybrid is when you get in fact it's actually a crossbreed that is what they define as an hybrid so basically when you have uh, maybe a new zealand white for example and you cross it with a palomino or with a dosh and uh, what you have they, they claim that that is a hybrid. No, that is not the definition of hybrid. A hybrid is where you cross two breeds of rabbit that are of pure line together. So, so what? So you have a New Zealand pure breed on one hand, for example, and then you have a Dutch pure breed on on one on the other hand. And you cross them together, the progeny that you have becomes a hybrid. It could have some of the 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 bunnies, some of the kids could could be New Zealand white, or they could be Dutch. But the parent stock are of pure breed, so they are not of a mixed breed. They are of pure breed. So in order for you to get a hybrid, you need a pure breed of two different uh, breeds you need a pure breed line of two different breed to produce a hybrid so when someone tell you that this rabbit is a hybrid especially in nigerian contest mm, there's you know likely they, they're talking about a cross breed or a mixed breed so so but we use it i also use that as well so basically i'm actually selling myself out so sometimes when you meet when you call us we say oh no it's an hybrid it's just marketing terminology that we use in this part of the world but the real truth the real definition of getting a hybrid is it has to be um two lines so it has to be a, a one line of pure breed of a particular breed for example is a new zealand a new zealand and let's say a california another another pure breed california when you cross that what you have is a hybrid so what is a cross breed a cross breed literally means when you cross two different rabbits of two different breed so you have a New Zealand white that you see, you cross it with a California. What you have becomes a crossbreed, the progeny. But the difference between the crossbreed 
and an hybrid is that the hybrid product is is a product from a generation of a pure breed the parents are pure breed unlike the cross breed the cross breed could be from any breed as long as there are two different breed whatever you whatever product you get becomes a cross breed now a mixed breed is where you a mixed breed is very much is very as is very much associated with a local breed uh, a mixed breed is when you cross you do not know the the history of the breed you don't know the parents of the breed you don't know the third generation the fourth generation the fifth generation of that breed uh, you so for example someone sells a rabbit to you you don't even know you can't you don't have a track record of the fifth generation of that rabbit you know um, and then you cross that rabbit with another rabbit maybe you cross a New Zealand with a with an with a with a Dutch for example and the offspring the bonus you have maybe a may even be a shepherd or maybe an American chinchilla you know that is a misbreed because probably the the fifth sixth generation of that rabbit is maybe American chinchilla you know so that those are misbreed and that is usually what we have a lot in Nigeria most of what we have in Nigeria um, misbreed and a crossbreed I'm not I'm not necessary I'm not saying they, they may be found that really really have a pure breed but tell, trust you me to have a pure breed you have to spend a lot of money and there's there's high possibility that you need to have imported those rabbits because those rabbits the farm would give you the history of those rabbits it could tell you the third fourth fifth generation and when you take that rabbit you look at the features of that rabbit with the original fish of what a New Zealand of what that breed is supposed to look like by the association. If you go to the association, or you take that rabbit to a, a rabbit show, uh, you take your rabbit to a rabbit show and they look at the fishes, they could say, okay, this is a pure breed because the fishes it has correspond with what an original breed of that breed is supposed to look like. So, uh, so a misbreed breed trial is. You know, is when you do not know the history of the rabbit, you cross it and you could get anything, anything could literally come out. And that misbreed is very similar to your local breed, you know, um, uh, it's very similar to what we call as a local breed. But um, I think my, my mentor, uh, Mr. Ace from Ace Farm, usually talk about, you know, intentional breeding. And you know, we talk about responsible breeding. In fact, is very, very much of the opinion that you need to improve the breed, especially here in Africa. So my mentor, Mr. Ace um, uh, from Ace Farm, really, really that Mr. Alice, sorry, <laughs> Mr. Alice, sorry, sir, from Ace Farm. You know, you usually talk about in Africa, but he usually encourages. Um, rabbit farmers, particularly in Africa, to be intentional to have that uh, to have what he called responsible breeding. In fact, is of the of the view that we need to improve the breed in Africa, right? So we're not just having this responsible breeding of just crossing everything, anything you see crossing. No, it has to be absolutely to be some intentionality about it. It has to be improving your stock. So, for example, if you are doing a meat rabbit. You know it should be that okay in the next six to six months to one year that the products of your rabbit are improving so for example if it's going to take you uh, four months to meet a two kg but with such intentional and you know purposeful and you know responsible breeding you are able to improve your stock he is a very strong advocate for that of improving the breed um, in Africa, of which I am actually in support of that, and I have seen that happening in my in my farm. But what what is the essence of 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 sharing this? It's for educational purpose. It's for educational purpose, so that next time when someone tell you, oh, that we have pure breed, you know, you should know that um, there's high chance that the person is just uh, 
you know, it's just marketing, you know, it's just marketing, uh, you know, terminology, you understand. And, um, and also one of the purpose of discussing this, and, and just so you know, the, the breed does not, it doesn't mean that, okay, the pure breed or the hybrid is better than the cross breed or the local breed. It doesn't mean that. Uh, the, there is advantages and disadvantages of both. You know, uh, for example, the 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 pure breed grows very very fast. Um, they could give you two to three kg within within twelve weeks. Um, you know, the litter. Some of them, depending on the breed, but they likely going to litter um, a lot of a lot of bunnies for you. You know, um, so so that could be the advantage of the pure breed, but they may not be able to adapt to the environment. So I have seen someone who actually went to Ghana, bought a pure breed, came to Nigeria, and the, having spent that amount, that significant amount of money, the rabbit could not um, adapt to the environment, and he lost the rabbit. You see, uh, whereas the local breed or the mixed breed or the cross breed that we have may have adapted to the environment, um, so they are likely going to adapt more to the environment. To, so it all depends on what your purpose is, what you are looking for. Um, so yeah, so I hope this uh, video is valuable uh, information to you. If it is, uh, please do wait to like and subscribe on this channel. And do take care of yourself. Bye-bye.